Hey everybody, Juice here, your host of all the Battle Reports here at the Long War, where we always keep it icy. Big special shout out and thanks to all you veterans out there. If you haven't already, stop what you're doing, go to longwar.net and become a veteran of the Long War today. Gentlemen, from behind the camera, he has arisen yet again, Robbie B. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> yes, yes he is. And we have got uh, the, the age old showdown between uh, a little gray knight, a little pask is going to be uh, mm -hmm. in the house today, but you, yours truly will not be playing him. I have got some badass uh, Chaos Space Marines uh, that Man Beard Painting Service uh, has uh, did up for us. This is the Adepticon special. And just so you know, you like what you see here. We've actually, we've got, this is a 2,000 point game, right. two 1,000 points of his armies. The third you'll see later on at a single 1,000 point game. But these armies are for sale. They sure are. Yeah, we're going to um, set up a little page on Spiky Bits website where yep. if you want to purchase not only these websites, but some of the other armies, or these armies, yep. that you've seen on here before, they're actually be for sale. So look for that here shortly. Um, but now, let's not get it twisted. Don't ever think in the history of ever you're going to see High Fleet Lexus on there. So y'all can y'all can hit me yeah. up with emails and say, you know, it ain't, it ain't happening. So, Robbie B, without further ado, let's dive in. Let's talk about the list that we're playing uh, right. and let everybody know a little more in depth about what's going to go on today. All right, I'm ready to throw down some Adepticon uh, Chaos Space Marines and uh, can't wait to break this army down for you. I feel like uh, Robbie B, Mike Caswell, or Kenny, I feel like one of them needs to be standing beside me because uh, this is uh, definitely team style. Okay, veterans, this is exactly what you guys have been waiting for. This is what the Long War won best heretical armies with um, at Adepticon this past year. So we've got Zach Bowles from Man Beer Painting hooked us up here with uh, just two out of the four 1,000 point armies that was showcased at Adepticon. We'll start it out with the Slaanesh side. This is what I was running. I've got this badass Archeon slash Heldrake custom everything like super fresh probably one of the most talked about models uh out of our armies was just going everybody was loving it so leading the charge from the from the slanesh side is we've got lucius the eternal aka i found out at adepticon he's not that eternal <laughs> But anyway, moving right along, we've got a fatty squad of cultists that are all customized. We have a five-man squad of uh, Terminators, all with Chain Fist and Combi Plaz. They also have uh, a banner that gives them the uh, Feel No Pain. We also have the Land Raider with Dirge Casters. That might come in play today, but it definitely did at Adepticon. We also have, coming over to this side, we have got um, Karn leading the charge with none other than three mutilators. Whoever sees mutilators, you're about to today. We also have uh, Cultus, the Land Raider as well, depending on where I want to go from. We have a bunker with a um, escape hatch, depending on it gives me some options whether I want to put uh, the Cultus in it and or the mutilators potentially. And another massively talked about model from Man Beer Painting is uh, this Chaos Hell Drake, very customized with all the chains dangling and everything. Uh, it reminds me of a couple movies that I've seen that are unbelievable. So guys, check it out, Man Beer Painting, and stay tuned to watch the rest of this battle report. So today I'm going to be playing Imperial Guard with a Nemesis Strike Force formation of Grey Knights. And of course, it's 40k time, it's 2016, so we're bringing the Librarius Conclave. Headed by uh, Lord Master Tigarius, the most bestest mind power human in the history of ever, with another power armor librarian at level two. And this is not Hector Rex, this is your friendly neighborhood Terminator in, or Librarian Terminator with Storm Shield, because hey, why not? Uh, three ups are always good. So that's the Librarius. And then we've got Lord Kalor Drago, a Storm Raven, and a Strike Squad forming the Nemesis Strike Force. And then we got the great or the uh, imperial guard cad right here which is looks super easy just two chimeras with uh straight up stock vets no special weapons in here then we've got a formation hq tank commander pask in his punisher getting his rending shots with two multi melters on the side allies cannon sponson in the front and over here we've got the plasma cushioner the, you know typical uh, thing we've seen for the past five years or so two uh, sponson plasma cannons and the executioner plasma cannon up top and uh, you know, heavy bolter there. But what's really cool about this whole list is we've got Ogrens painted by uh, Max Dubois at Hellfire Painting there. 
and some little Ministorum priests here lending their uh, the war their Bardi war hymns to the Olmex. So guys, now that you know what we're playing, let's talk about the mission. Okay. So, you know, when Robbie B and I get together, we like to bring it uh, a little old school and new school, right? So uh, today we've got Dawn of War deployment. We have kill points and secondary is going to be end of game table quarters. I thought it was how many uh, long wars can you roll? Yo, that is uh, what we're, we've been talking about. We might have to add that as a tertiary. <laughs> um, and uh, so the cool thing is about that is we like doing, obviously, uh, objective secures. Sure. Uh, count as full points. Everything else is half. Okay. Right? So, and that was a big thing in third and fourth edition. Troop choices count as full. All the other units was half points in your um, in your uh, table quarters. At also, the like, the cleanse game. was a big thing back then. Yes. Like, the whole cleanse mission scenario, this, uh, you know, table quarters was actually a thing. It was so, a huge thing. You had to yeah. be mobile. You yeah. had to, you know, stop. You had to clear out other table quarters, you know, while securing your own. Um, so, it, you would get, games would come down where you are actually so worried about that, uh, being in table quarters, that maybe uh, you didn't jump out of vehicles. Maybe you wanted to keep your non-troop units alive to count for the most amount of points going into the later rounds. Robbie B, now that we've got that, let's talk about a little about uh, you played, I'm actually playing my Chaos, mm -hmm. excuse me, mine, the, the Slanesh is what I played at Depticon. You actually played the um, the corn. Yeah, I played the corn, the corn flavor with Karn, uh, three mutilators running out of the uh, Land Raider, and of course the Heldre cultists yeah. in a uh, bunker. And it, it did really well, you know, they, they held down stuff, and Karn usually came out, killed stuff, usually was killed in return. Yeah. So he was never the warlord. <laughs> so, so, but, uh, that's, there's gonna be, there's gonna be, Corn wants, right? Yeah, no tricking you today on what the mutilators and or Corn can do. No, I know what the mutilators can do. <laughs> so, um, now, conversely, there'll be no tricking me in knowing what passing that plasma cutioner can do. Uh, yeah, he's really good. Because, um, this is a style with some elements of a of list that you guys see me play, and mm -hmm. let me tell you what, I know know what the conclave and I know what Drago and I know what uh passing this this plasma cutioner the work that they can kind of put in so uh I'm oh, super bull excited grins. yeah oh you do. yeah OP Bullgrins yes uh straight <laughs> up the internet's about to blow up OP Robbie B bringing up some some old uh Bullgrins so um Robbie B I can't I can't wait any longer let's get Lucius the non-eternal involved and let's roll some dice and figure out um what we got going on so stay tuned we've got a great battle report coming up Robbie B it's always a good day when you and I are in the beats lab throwing it down so uh let's give everybody at home the first dice rolls of the game which is deployment sides word I'm a, I'm a long mm, more the shit the out of that. opposites of each other. <laughs> Statistics say when a six rolls, yeah. a one will be rolled. So um, we'll take the long, I'll take the long board edge to my right right now. Okay. Um, now we know that this is uh, kill points and uh, table quarters at the end, so there's no need to place objectives. We'll do some psychic abilities. But Robin B, let's go ahead and roll now for uh, deployment. Who deploys first? That is a three. Oh, my turn. Yeah, uh, I long war, you long war me. <laughs> so uh, you get the option to deploy first, and then after that, whether or not you go or make me go first. So, Robbie B, are you going to opt to go first or force me to take turn one? Uh, I'm definitely going to go first now that I... Uh see how you're positioning here. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. So here it is. I'm going to... I owe you a long war. All right, fair enough. <laughs> oh! Man, it's been a while, but Long War Vets, I have finally seized the initiative yet again. That's one of our secondaries, right? Who, who rolls the, the most Long Wars? <laughs> so far, you got me by one. <laughs> Keeping track. So basically, part of my plan today was to seize the initiative. Um, but what I did was in the deployment, as you can see, I saw an opportunity if I did bust down that six and for the rest of the game until Pass comes after me. I, I've, I've split Pask up, so I really want to make sure if I can get some lucky good last cannon shots, I can get some side armor and actually going here versus always leading with um, the Plasma Cutioner. So if I took more of a center uh, stance with the Lamb Raiders, I would be um, only be shooting at the Plasma Cutioner for a while. So I divided up my forces, which I don't like doing, 
But I got to try to capitalize on Pask now because if not, he will just point and click left and right. Uh, as you vets know, I love Pask and a plasma cushioner. So I have a little more than most people on the insight of how to play against it. So we're just jumping straight ahead to the, <laughs> the, sh the shooting phase. I don't have a psychic phase at all. Um, and I didn't move these Lamb Raiders because I want to utilize both of those Twindling Laz Cannons. So we're going to go ahead and bust off uh, Karn's Lamb Raider first. And we are going to shoot the two Laz Cannons at side armor of uh, Pask. Okay. That is two hits. Yup. Uh, I don't feel like I'm getting any uh, cover or anything here. Nah, I think <laughs> it's pretty pretty straight on. Whew! Yikes. Two, two pins. I feel like my plan is coming together so, so, so far so good. Roll that result. So now I gotta give you these one at a time, because if there is a chance, one off oh, chance. Oh yeah, I could spread it the next one. Absolutely, mm -hmm. so Long War Vets, do me a favor and cross your fingers. I'm looking for a six on one of these two dice. Uh, the exact opposite. Let's see if uh, this second one can bang it down. And it is! Mm. It is! Well, you saw that once, so you knew it was You knew a six right? was coming right behind <laughs> it. Pask, I, I want everybody to know this was going to be a the roughest uphill battle, even worse than uh, when my Space Wolves had to play against some Eldar. I know what Pask and the Plasma Q shouldn't do, and I was able to one-shot him with uh, a, a gut shot from a Twinling Glass Cannons, a.k.a. Godhammer Land Raiders OP. All right, so Pass is going to eject his safety. Yes, he is. <laughs> he, now he's going to hop in the plasma cushion. Yep. All right, so we've got Slaness. Let's see if um, if this god can do any better. And we're we're actually going to be stuck at the front armor here. So that's front armor fourteen. Yeah, not getting me this time. Yeah. So uh, twin linked mm -hmm. and looking for a six. Nothing. I'm okay with these results. <laughs> Um, Lucius the Eternal is doing the happy dance in the corner because he just heard over the mic that uh, Pask is no longer here. So basically, guys, we're going to turn this over to Robbie B for his turn one. So I got my squad up here. Um, took some lumps over here, but these guys are going to start marching forward, try to hold down, start contesting some quarters and things. And there isn't a lot of dudes in these Rhino, these Land Raiders, and these Land Raiders are over here. So I feel like we're going to be able to engage in the middle, but we're going to get some defenses up here in the Psychic Phase and wait for the rest of our reserves to come on. Rolling for Psychics. Got five Warp Shards. Got my two from Drago, three from Tigarius, one from my level one, and two from my level two. So I need more dice. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Wow, this is like a... This is like a Psychic Fat Kid Buffet right here. I'm loving it. Um, I got so many options here. We're going to try casting Invisibility with Tiggy on four dice because I can reroll it if I fail it, not if I parallels. Uh, those are all pass. Good old Library's Conclave. Mm-hmm. Yep, passing on twos. So you've got five dice. Good to go. You're good? Brother. Okay. So there's four of that. Then we'll kick it over to... I feel like I want to throw a Prescience on them as well. So we're gonna throw three dice at that. And that goes off as well on two ups. You're good to go. Okay. So we're invisible and we're prescienced. I really don't need to do too much. I don't want to parallels. I don't want to get too uh, too crazy with the cheese was here. But I do want to cast Gate of Infinity, Ooh. which I can do from Drago because he's not part of the Librarius. So we'll throw four dice at that. And he actually perils. Uh, Big uh, five. five. Leadership check. And nothing happens. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. So I got one more charge, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and gate. And we'll um, yeah, that. and I have five dice, and you have two left. Is a uh, gate of infinity. I'll wait. you wait? Yep, I'll wait. That's all I'm going to cast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how you end up. So we're going to try to land it right here, go after Lucius the Not Eternal. Uh, so Drago is first to place. Uh, looks like eight this way. Should be okay, I think. Yeah, should right be there. fine. Didn't go off the board and probably not going to mishap even with that many models. Let's oh yeah, nah, you're good to go. 
Yeah, I can still get a whole row around there. So that's where they landed. Um, I was a little worried up here, but I could double stack it in the back because I can choose where I ring um, my third or my second concentric ring, which I did right here. So it's all good. Okay, so now I'm going to use my ripper guns or my uh, my augering guns. They don't have the ripper guns, but they do have these uh, blast templates. They're 12 inch range and only strength four. But uh, with the new FAQ, the new first draft FAQ, apparently I get everybody underneath here. So everybody at home, you've heard us talk about it. Uh, in length, you've heard me voice my opinion on how crazy this is and Kenny. So here we go. Let's just start from the bottom. Like, oh yeah, you just hit all these models. That's mm -hmm. cool, that's cool. Now let's actually take the camera, put it from a bird's <laughs> eye view. Now everybody at home, how many people can you see? Yeah, it doesn't make much sense. Robbie B, move the template just so we can see too. Maybe. So, right? So right Good now, couple. You see the guys on the very ground floor, Lucius the Eternal's head, and that. In all reality, that is true line of sight. But now we're going to have to somehow guesstimate, level by level, for those chicks, her too, don't forget about her, and maybe that one in the corner. Yep. Thanks, G-Dub. So I'm rolling for one, two, three, four, five of these blasts. That looks like it's going to scatter. No. But I got prescience. That's going to scatter a lot That's as well. Nothing. That actually might scatter on top of me, so that's probably gonna get four of my guys. Four, I'll keep up with it. That hits. Nope, that, yeah, pretty close. There Seven. wasn't still three. Uh, four inches, three. you're gonna wanna reroll that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, why am I shooting? That goes not, that actually hits me again. There's five on me. That hits, yeah, yeah, I hit. hit. So, and then just to make sure, uh, we did do it as the GW said, we can see one and then we guess that he got another six others. Um, so there's six. I feel like I've hit more of myself there's, than you. Nope, now, now I'm ahead. Yeah. That is a hit, so now that is 12 to five. And that's? That is 18 to five. And one more. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Three, I'll actually take that. And, and then I might get two. like five. Yeah, so again, we're going to use, um, as some people rule and everything, you see what you can see, then you guess on the other. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I think care. this is so funny to me. Um, so one, two, three, four, guys. Four, so 18 total Plus, for you. Uh, uh, oh. Six, 12, 18, 22 total, Ooh. and then I get you five times. No, you got me nine times. Oh, nine, five twice. plus four. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, I, I get how G-Dub says, you know, in the FAQ, they're like, it represents, instead of a circular explosion, a spherical explosion. But here's the thing, like, these are just strength four weapons. Like, they're small, they're man, they're man movable. Like, shouldn't there maybe be two profiles? Yeah. Like, if it's ordnance, it could hit multiple levels. Like, this doesn't seem... No, you want to know what? And it's, it's know. logic in the game. And yeah, it doesn't have a place. No, it doesn't absolutely. have a place. But That's exactly what I was going to say. They they created the Vortex. If they want to do something, then give us a Vortex grenade. Give us give us a mm. template that allows us to utilize that. If not, let's just leave it out of the game. I'm just glad there's a standard at this point. Ah, absolutely. So, here's 22 wounds. We're strength 4. Toughness 3. Gauntlets. 1, 2, 3. Wow. We'll take out the hits this time. Not a whole lot of them. Oh, yeah, uh, that's three. Stay. Yeah. yeah, just get rid of those twos, yep. Cool, there's one. All right, so not I, too bad. I am going to utilize... Um, I am this is AP6, so... Okay. But you get a cover save. Yeah, I get a uh, four up cover. Um, I would go to ground, but Lucius the Eternal. Uh, Lucius the Fearless, uh, almost Eternal. Quasi-Eternal. I feel like I'm going to just take these half at a time, Robbie B. And okay. And so, uh, for no bleed over for Lucius, don't want to lose him yet. So I have three down. And then now this last batch. Two, four, six more. So I feel like we can start at the top there. Uh, one, those next three. The one right below. Yep, her and her. Okay. Seems good. This might, I actually have a chance to do some wounds to you because you are invisible, so my guns won't do anything. So here are the nine coming back at you, mm -hmm. and the majority toughness is four because you have one more yep. non-Ogren model. Mm, so uh, here we go, looking for fours. So you've got a total of five saves, brother. So I got five saves to make, and it looks like, I guess it's coming from this way, so yep. it's going to be on uh, the uh, Bulgrens, but they have the slab shields so that actually when they're touching, actually gets them a plus one to their save, so I'm basically a power uh, power armor right now. 
and I take a wound on the lead guy. So this is the end of my turn. Basically, we just uh, landed over there. We're gonna get up in uh, Lucius's grill. Next turn, I elected to pop smoke over here because, well, <laughs> plasma can't do much against land raiders and I couldn't quite get away as far as I wanted to and still get some cover. So we're just gonna wait and see on this guy right here. Maybe I can get lucky and crack those land raiders with a storm raven when he comes on. So my turn two, top of two, um, it's it's kind of crazy to think this is a 2,000 point game. <laughs> it's just, a lot of stuff is in reserves. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. All the vehicles and bunker are filled. But you know what, guys? I have nothing really to do in answer for this uh, Bullgren Drago Tigeria star. So uh, Lucius has got to figure out what the hell is going on. And I got some reserve rolls. See if I can get a little Hell Drake love. I get one and one, or one is out, one is in. So uh, let's see what the rest of my movement phase looks like. So I got a little four inch difficult training, guys. Where are you going? Uh, you know, we are tactically getting out of the way. I'm gonna go. <laughs> so I got four plus a D6 because I don't care about any auto pistol shots. So I'm going a total of five inches. Again, I'm questioning your uh, your tactics here, Juice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> those ogrens, or those bullgrens look really mean. Yeah, the, uh, Lucius the Non-Eternal has just got off the phone with Karn, and he said, you know, let me give you a little tactic here. Get away. Um, so we're going to do something, do the shimmy sham. You sure right didn't here. say, like, kill me and burn, kill me and burn? Uh, no, sir. Okay. No. <laughs> He, he wanted to, he led with that, but then he realized he was talking about Lucius. I did want to touch on right here after this movement, I'm gonna go ahead and vector strike Robbie B. Okay. Um, the hill drake came in hot, yep. and he vector struck here. This is a tag two for invisible stuff, is you want to try to come up with as many things that automatically hit. So I do get my one, and then I'm gonna randomize. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. So we're gonna cut it in half uh, to figure out what pool we're gonna roll in. So on a four up, it is the this half of five, on a three Three or less, it is going to be this half. So we are in the bottom half. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So one, two, three. It is this priest. So let's see if um, if he's wounded, and he is. And this ignores cover, so he could potentially look out, sir, because I still think he's a character, but he, he doesn't. He's a character. Yep, but he doesn't have an invulnerable. So he, he does. Can, he has oh, a Rosarius. Oh, absolutely. So you can opt to put it on him, which could potentially instant kill him, and or if not, look out, sir. Well, who's who's he closest to over here? Uh, he's touching um, Drago. A Bulgren, he's touching everybody. They're all they're all right next to each other. Like, so you got plenty of options. Yeah, I feel like I have some lookout sir opportunities here. Yeah. So I came over here and took a look at it to be honest, and I'm like, you know what? They're really just there to keep my squad fearless and to do some warhams, but I have no doubt that I can beat this squad in combat and Karn is way over there. So I think I'm just gonna like to keep it on the priest and roll my uh my four up right here. Actually I'm going for the secondary, so I need a long war. Oh <laughs> he's dead. He's second dead. blood. Dang it. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and opt to flat out. Get kind of close to that board edge because uh, flyer on flyer tech I'm very familiar with. So I want to make sure that I hug that board edge close so the hell drake, if he wants to come after me, he's going to have to come in pretty steep. Also, vets, uh, so you guys, as you notice, these land raiders move kind of quick. Um, I have decided to move them 12 inches and then just go ahead and flat out. And I've got Dozer Blaze, so see if I mobilize myself. I do not. I love, Chaos does have two cool things. If you like playing Land Raiders, they get Dozer Blades as an option and those Dirge Casters, which really come into play. So that was my turn. Um, I feel pretty good still. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I'm kind of head hunting, obviously, that Plasma Cushioner. So when Karn and the Terminators do come out, they will not get harassed by the Plasma Cushioner because I know what that guy does to uh, Armor 2 guys. And um, basically wait to see when the Storm Raven and where Drago decides to gate next. So I'm up next here, and a couple of things come to mind real quick. Like I need to roll for reserves, but more importantly, this tank is not going to escape the uh, the, the two-man hunting pack over here 
because this is a heavy vehicle and unfortunately I can only ever move six and I can't flat out unless I tank commander the order, but I lost my tank commander. So, so I'm just gonna back up and uh, I don't know from there. I didn't really think that went out too too well there, but um, we are gonna roll from some reserves here. So first off, we got our strike squad comes in. Uh, Storm Raven does not come in. What else do we got? We got two chimeras that are identical. They're both in, and I want to say that is pretty much it. Yep, that looks to be it. So that's what's coming on next. So I moved on my chimeras over here. Um, I'm going to deep strike in the strike squad. A lot of people forget strike squad actually has a deep strike special rule. I could have rolled to get these guys in turn one. That's part of the nemesis strike force, but I actually didn't see where it would help me at all because this Heldrake could just come in and flame me. So I'm um, kind of glad one of them came on already. So I'm going to try to stick this one right here. Hmm, a little ways away there. Not too bad though. I think it'll keep me alive and that's what counts. Remember these guys have storm bolters too, which is really cool because now I can blast at uh, Lucius the Not Eternal as well. So make my ring around my deep strikers. All right, so my Chimeras came on six. They're gonna shoot their multi-laser up here at the Heldrake because well, it might be a thing, who knows? Might as well try it. So first off, I got the first one, one long war. I'm not gonna jink. Not gonna jink. <laughs> All right. No jinking. Oh, and are you kidding war. me? Are you kidding me right now? Mm. So that is a pin. Um, I do have a five up in bone. Are you kidding? Hey, you're me? a demon. Oh, nice. Oh, well, triple long war on the uh, same dice. We'll do it again right here. Oh, nothing. That was worth a try. Hey, you found the shot and you got the pin. So over on this side, I basically have deep struck in these guys. And when I shoot, he's gonna have to take casualties from here, which is good because I left these guys, the Terminator Librarian and a Priest, to assault in from this side. So chances are I will make this assault. I have to go around the windows or whatever because the new FAQ says walls are walls. <laughs> but I won't get like hampered by my own guys trying to like whittle down the numbers as I kind of run in here. And then yeah, that's something that a lot of people do is that they are like, oh, I'm not going to shoot here because it can make my charge distance a little too long. So uh, great play, Robbie B. Thanks, so. Tom. These are guys actually have a little power uh, power weapon, storm bolter here. So it looks like a bunch of hits. And this actually is a really cool scatter dice from Adepticon. This you can use as a regular dice too if it happens to get mixed in. You're not like, oh, that's an arrow. Well, no, actually, it's a four, <laughs> which is really nice. So we just got five saves for you. Cover right. saves, of course. Cover. Uh, so I get some four ups. Yep. Oh, man. It's like yep. it didn't even matter. Another chick down. <laughs> so I landed my gate over here because I'm going to try to protect this executioner. It doesn't seem like it's super valuable right now, but it is worth points because this, is, this was a squadron with my tank commander, which is nice. He did get Warlord, but... If I spread out, I might be able to keep him from assaulting me because, again, you can't run through walls anymore. So here's my run move. And that, I believe, is a six. Even though it's a scatter dice, you can still roll it. I love Adepticon. So we're just going to spread out. And rolling for assault. Pre-measuring it out. Looks to be about five inches. Technically, I guess I can go through here because it's a window or whatever. It's not the solid wall. And... It'll, I think, I, think I nailed you there. it. I needed uh, a seven, but... Yep, I will um, roll some Overwatch here in just a second, and uh, we'll get this on. Mm -hmm. So a couple of bookkeeping things real quick. I'm getting into combat here. Force was activated by the squad, so I do have Force, because it is a librarian has a Force weapon. At the top of the order, I need to roll for my War him on my Priest here. He has to pass it on a seven, <laughs> which doesn't happen a lot, but I'm going to go for the reroll arm safe. And it actually goes off, which is great. So I can reroll all my saves in this squad here. Another cool thing about this guy is he has the Zealot ability, so he makes them fearless. Plus, also, I get to reroll my attacks on the for, on the charge. So even though I have prescience, I still, you know, didn't necessarily need it, so to speak, right now. Okay, Lucius the Eternal, um, Robbie B. We are in a challenge, and your uh, so he is duelist. He has the Duelist Pride, so um, his attack characteristics, while he is in a challenge, is equal to the weapon skill of my opponent. So, Robbie B, what is your weapon skill? Uh, I believe it's a four. So, a four plus dual close combat weapon. So, okay. I am at five attacks. I have weapon skill, seven. Um, ones and twos, I have no way to re-roll that. 
I'm just kidding. You are a Space Marine. I forgot I for am. two seconds. So I get to reroll this one because of preferred enemy. So I have four hits coming at you. That's, that's because Lucius is a veteran of the long war. That's right, he is. <laughs> that's right. He subscribes every month. Every month. <laughs> so strength four. He brings the ladies to our parties. He he does. He does. <laughs> uh, sometimes they're not the ones we're looking for, but he still brings them. And now I'm still preferred enemy. Um, so that is, uh, and I am shred. I apologize. There was a three over Ooh. here. I do have the shred special rule. Uh, don't convert that. So Robbie B, that is two saves. What's your uh, what's your AP? Um, I'm AP AP, uh, AP one instant death strength ten. I don't um, believe that. Oh, I was just kidding. AP three. <laughs> There's no way he's that good. <laughs> Everybody wants to play with him. No. So just three sa or two saves there, brother. Two, two saves. Up. All right. Well, I got a stormy shield. It's a two up save. Uh, yeah, don't I, even, don't I, got, even, I got Terminator armor. Yeah, there it is. Don't even need to get through that. So, <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I'm so used to saying I got Storms, you know. <laughs> so, uh, Robbie B, you're coming at me with... Normally, I have, what, four attacks? Yep. But don't you have the Lash or something? I do have a Lash yeah. that is making you minus one. Womp um, womp. I am Prussian slash prefer whatever reroll off Zealot. Nope. So, just two. And Strength Fall Wall. Okay, uh. so this is uh, just one wound, but it's one quality wound because this is force instant death. That force. The best I can do is a five up invulnerable save. Okay. That is not a five. I rolled one of those. That is not a five. Uh, Lucius the Eternal is going to be Eternal another day. He doesn't have the Eternal Warrior special rule? Um, it's in his name. Yo, that's false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Eternal is in his name, so I don't know if that automatically puts him into that. But nope, that is not. Oh no. Well, I still got to swing with my priest, and you got to still got to swing with your ladies. I got some. Got some ladies. Chicks to the revenge. Um, I get to reroll four dice here, everybody. Um, now cultists do not have veteran of the long war special. No, rule. not so much. Come to find out. Get rid of that. And that. not that old. And now I do get to re-roll four dice because I just didn't have enough in my hand. There's actually no re-rolls here. Um, and then now your majority toughness is four, even though the priest yep. is three. So I'm looking for fives. And now that is three wounds to the priest. So I have a four up Rosaria save or a five up regular. Guess which one I'm going to take. The regular? <laughs> <laughs> Probably one at a time or not, not like I don't a, even care. It, it's a, you're a beast. Uh, so you have a four up, five up. Seems like you got three Re successes. <laughs> with my with my bard song. Three, three successes. So mm -hmm. uh, now it is the bard's turn to swing back. Yep. Strangely enough, he's, he's actually kind of a beast. He's got three attacks on the charge. No restriction here. Um, he, no scenes. Well, yep. Nope, not that's not gonna happen. But he's only string three. What? Uh, six up T-shirt. Oh yeah. So uh, Lucius counts as three wounds, and that is four. So now I need to, I owe you basically a snake eyes, my brother. Uh oh. Come to find out, double <laughs> long war is really cool. I love it when this happens, except under this circumstance. And now you have a guy in power armor, so you cannot chase me. Terminator uh, armor. Terminator armor, yep. excuse me. Um, but I owe you 2d6, so unless I roll <laughs> snake eyes, which... Here's the snake. You just rolled two sixes, right? Veterans, that's there exactly what I was going to say. Snake eyes. Uh, I mean, you're working your way there. Hey, here you're we go. There. Yahtzee. <laughs> That is off the table, and Robbie V, you were able to pick up two kill points with two models. Emperor Shuffle. Wow. Emperor, for the Emperor Shuffle. So, I pretty much did everything I needed to do this turn, but his Heldrakes are still kind of running around unopposed right now, so that might be a problem. Just set to receive the charge over here, and just kind of holding down some quarters, just trying to see if I can uh, nudge it out at the end there. All right, my turn three. Well, guys, I did not see Robbie B pull another gate on uh, his turn two, and he has definitely blocked my way of that plasma cutioner. Uh, so that is a problem. I am running through my mind what I'm going to do about it. But first, I'm going to go ahead and give you a uh, Hell Drake roll for reserves and see if he comes on. That's a good old five right underneath that other Hell Drake. So we are double draking it now, baby. Okay, so the uh, Slanesh Heldrake flew off the board this way and is going to opt to vector strike this guy right here. And um, actually, I lied. I apologize. I declared this bad one. Guy? Yep, mm. the bad guy back here. Okay. Strength seven uh, is nothing. 
And I do have a vector strike back here, Robbie B. Okay. Uh, this unit of two. Uh oh, random it. Here, I'll see if it wounds. It does wound. Okay. So one, two, or three. It's the non Terminator librarian. Her priest. So, excuse me. So it is the priest. Okay. Sure. So you have uh, either a lookout, sir, and or a four up in bone. I think uh, I think I don't really kill or care if he dies, to be quite honest. So we're just going to beast mode a four up right here. Yes, sir. Man, he cannot roll. <laughs> um, and, and that's only in combat. His hit only works only in combat. Get combat so. Chip. so both priests down. So I moved my minimum inches of 18. This is why, guys, I want to show you how Ooh. Helldrakes are really effective. I was able to vector strike as I was coming on. Right, Chion, and get all five. Now, we always want to make sure that we blow our um, Hill Forge mm -hmm. right now because who knows what's going to happen next turn. Could come on and die. So we're going to go ahead and do it. So I'm looking for anything. Oh, first, let's see if I uh, do a whole point of myself. I do not. So uh, looking for anything but ones. No ones. And that nice. is uh, that's a squad of five guys. So the Hell Drake was able to come on Vector Strike. Uh, kill a priest and still do this and the other hell drake had the potential to try to help try to crack open uh, One of those chimeras. So I mean for what they are and they are so so pivotal for a chaos player Even though they don't shoot 360 anymore. No, nope. they're, they're still tactical. all it is is they're very tactical You mm -hmm. as the player have to get better, you know of mm -hmm. knowing where to uh, to put them in the right place Okay, so we are gonna do the slanesh is gonna go with a cover save my brother is gonna shoot past there Okay. Um, now he did just turn and pivot, so I get my full bliss skill. Mm. Two hits. Um, front armor is twelve, so yes, I'm sir. looking for threes. That is uh, two pins. Yikes! Uh, looks like I get a four up, right? Through um, the yeah, you are obscured by ruin. that turning, so you will get it. One gets through. So one pin gets through, and this is AP two. So two goes through three. It is shaken. So. Um, there it yep. is, and a whole point. Yep. Now, and then just real quick, moving along, we are going to opt. Um, oh, excuse me, and I do owe you a heavy bolter. Cannot hurt it. No, I apologize. I was thinking, yep, uh, and it can't hurt front armor twelve. That's true. Too. Um, I was thinking of a razor back there for a second. That's one thing why Camara is always, I think, a lot better. Um, I'm going to actually take a gut shot here. I had success earlier. I'm going to snap fire one of my, because th this guy did move six inches. I'm going to snap fire one and shoot regular uh, at here, at that uh, land rate, or excuse me, the Lehman Russ. So here's my snap fire. Uh, twin linked. I feel like I'm a long war. What did I say? Sometimes you got to mm. know how to command the dice. And then now the other one. Uh, that is a cocked. That is another cocked. That is a miss. And now a twin linked. I have two hits. I am strength nine, front armor 14, fives glance, six pin. I have a six. Okay. Robbie B, and now these Bulgren are so big, they are gonna oh, yeah. give you a five up cover because of that big ass shield. And there. plus, actually they plus, not only do I get my five up cover from them, but they plus one to it because that's actually how the shield works. Cool, so, so gotta, you are getting- I, I got a ruin save. You got from a four up cover. From my mans. I don't know where it went. That nope. is not a four up. That is not. And now, <laughs> veterans, do you have any idea what this next roll is going to be? Uh, I think it's going to be a one. I have no doubt in my mind. You can go ahead and remove him from play. I, I am willing a six, Robbie B. Ah, it's a two. That's two a, goes to like a three. One. It is. But more importantly, I was getting overzealous with a six. I still couldn't believe I did that well with that save and everything else. More importantly, that is a hole point, and sure. it is snap firing if I do get blown out of my uh, vehicles. And we all know how <laughs> template snap fire. Not, not very well. <laughs> so uh, I feel really good about that, guys. Um, I was able to <laughs> start working down. I don't have very many shots. Guys, like, look at this. It still boggles my mind a little bit that we were playing a 2,000-point game. Um, but look how much table space is open and this and this. Um, this is really how I win in Adepticon. When you utilize and put a lot of points in here and everything and the drakes are coming in and out, you have to be tactical with your movements and you got to know I learned uh, as well. I know Robbie B because Robbie B was playing corn and everything else. When you get out of that lamb ready, you got to make sure you kind of know you're there for a little bit because you need to go and move on. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm kind of hesitant to drop out, especially with this, this invisible unit in front of me. Um, so, But I feel with the units that I have, I've done really well and we're just going to go into Robbie B's turn three. So my turn three, uh, it's going to be hard for me to keep, bust open those land raiders. I think Drago's going to have to power up, eat his magic mushroom, or do his line of warp dust and go over there and hit it with his uh, pimp sword. 
But as far as that goes, I'm gonna roll to see if I get my Storm Raven on. Nope. Man, I wish I had a Scryer's Gaze instead of the stupid press chance. No, I don't. And <laughs> nope. Said nope. nobody in the history Said of ever. Nobody ever. Oh, but you use it for Maelstrom. Nope, still don't care. Um, so I think I'm just gonna kind of try to consolidate here and pop open my Land Raider and start doing some work with the guys and or uh, something else. That's a that's a professional tactical outlay right there. On to the Psychics phase. Let's see how many we get here. Roll my special green dice. I got a five. Woo! Trucking along with some psychic powers. So there's that. So we're definitely gonna try to do a hammer hand, but juice has five dice and that's only a warp charge one. So I feel like I'm gonna have to throw a lot of dice at that. I wanna try to crack this land raider right off the bat. But first, we'll do everybody's favorite invisibility with Tigarius for four dice. Oh, only goes off with, actually doesn't go off. So I can reroll this using his ability. It goes off with two. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is the closest thing that I'll ever get to try to stopping it. So I am actually going to roll my five dice at it. Oh boy. And see if I can get any long wars. Oh, close, but no cigar. So it was a chance. Yep. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think Karn is going to do that, and he denies everything on a two up. Uh, <laughs> it's like a Colossus. Yeah, you to know. Totally real. <laughs> no, oh my goodness. All right, so that gets off. So we got invisibility over there. I feel like we're going to need a prescience as well. So we're going to throw four dice at that with Tiggy. Um, goes off on three. Good to go there. Now we're going to try to do everybody's favorite hammer hands. Oh, yeah, it's hammer time. Oh, but a perils with Drago. No, not Drago. I'm taking a win. So now I feel like I don't have anything else. But I did want to address something. I got that crazy Electro Displacement Psychic Power, the one where I can move terrain around. And he does have some guys in a bunker, so that might come into play late game. But I'm not going to worry about it right now because I myself have Gate, which I feel like is more, more better, er, it's a technical term, <laughs> for me. But to mess up his, uh, you know, winning conditions, I might be able to throw that bunker around there. Going into the assault phase, I actually don't have any, uh, I don't have any shooting because the snap firing turret over here can't see the hell drake. I pop smoke on my other chimera. This really isn't doing much. Um, this was actually stunned. I forgot about that. So we couldn't even move. Oh my goodness. So actually right here, well, I'm just going to try to assault. So let's roll that beautiful distance. Nine, I think he's uh, A-OK. -okay a billion get, inches. To get in there. Um, these guys actually have Hammer of Wrath at their base strength, though. So strength five is so not going to do anything. But with Hammer Hands now, they're strength seven. Against the Land Raiders, still can't do anything. But Dre goes up, and we'll see what he does. So everybody's got to kind of bunch up there and yep. get in base. Oh, man, it's like I got Hell Drakes that could come in and flame you. Yeah. But oh. you're invisible. Oh, no. <laughs> so, All right, so how many dice you got? Uh, for Drago, five plus one, I believe. Hits you on threes. I'll reroll that because it's a leaner. And I'll reroll these because I have prescience. So I got all these hits right here. Now, Drago normally is strength seven. Hammer hands, he's strength nine now. So let's see what we can do. Five last hands. Hmm. <laughs> So, a couple... Uh, strength one. nine, so you got a mm. glance. Um, I have nothing to do against it, so I take a glance, take a whole point. Boop! Well, that was my big master plan. Uh, it didn't quite, <laughs> didn't quite go the way I wanted, but, uh, you know, we'll roll with it. We still got some turns, so... Okay, so it is my four. Um, you know, I got an opening over here. I could chew past and try to get that, but I feel like he'll, he's just going to get a kill point, so I'll swap there. I haven't decided. I do have another Hell Drake coming on. Um, but you know what's kind of scary the whole time? Robbie B's had over 200 points or right at that, <laughs> uh, chilling in reserve. So my Drakes have been able to come on and off without jinking or anything else. So, uh, I was hoping that I would get a chance to kind of fly over and Vector Strike him, but looks like we're going to have to wait till turn five for all that. 
Okay, so we're in the movement phase here. Uh, you know, and I've thought about it. I've moved this guy. He's going to snap fire uh, and try to blow up that hill, Drake. Or excuse me, that uh, Oh, go for it. Yeah, that Chimera who's also going to take a vector strike. So hopefully I can get that and then flame some guys that are inside. You know, I keep wondering what to do here. And I'm going to make a play right now. Um, I'm going to first uh, issue a tank shot, or I'm going to declare that I'm tank shocking this unit to get him out of my way so I can move past. Okay, I'm... Uh, fearless, so I just get out of the way. Yeah, the minimum distance. Hey, Rob B, you've got the camera there, so what I'll do is I'll just move these the minimum distance it's going to take to get out of the way. Okay? Um, and then now I am just going to huh. right there. So we get out of the way, and then it's whatever. Yep. Okay. So basically what's going to happen, guys, is I'm going to try to stop and block his movement uh, with potential if I get out here and last for a turn and destroy that there. Make it a little harder for him. Uh, and I do owe you a dozer blade check sure. there, Robbie B. It is not snake eyes, so uh -huh. that's cool. It's, a, it's close. Um, and then in my movement there, and we're going to get uh, get some guys out. Yep. Okay, so the mutilators, look how sick those models those are. Those things are man. ginormous, dude. They're like yo, bigger than a lander. <laughs> yo, Man Bear Painting put his foot in those models right there. That And just so everybody knows, that is slang for really good. Oh, is that how we talk in the South? That's it. That's okay. it. That's one of ours. I we, haven't been we over. We claim those. Okay. <laughs> good to know. Yep. Put your foot in it. That means good, badass, um... You know, moving right along. So I just want to talk about um, what just happened. Karn is not actually on top of it. He is still inside. I just wanted to show that. Well, look how badass he looks on top of it. Yeah, he does look badass. That's where Karn rides from now on. <laughs> so, um, but so playing through my head as I was getting my models out, I want to pick up this kill point and make sure if I do decide to get these plasma guys out, uh, if this is a failed invisibility, that he just they don't get wrecked by this tank. So I am going to swap kill points if needed to destroy this and keep Karn inside the vehicle because he's not needed to kill this vehicle. Um, and that way, um, veterans, I cannot give up Warlord unless he blows me out of my vehicle. That was the one thing I've gotten Warlord. Robbie B can't take that from me unless he gets to Karn. So I was being a little passive there. Yo, don't you threaten me with a good time. <laughs> there we go. And this will wind up the movement phase. So I'm going to do the vector strike from the guy underneath. So the little Libby back there? The little Libby back there. Yes, sir. I, that is a, a three-up storm save. Storm yep. shield. Now I get to use my stormy shield. Yes, you do. Oh, gosh. You're the worst. <laughs> Never come through on these clutch rolls. <laughs> you guys are dead to me. Literally, dead to you're me. dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So for a minute, I thought Juice was playing with high crones. I was like, he's dead. And nope. he's like, no, no. So it's I'm going to put that one right there next to him. He has one wound left. Woo, we're back in the game. All right, so if you want, we can stay rolling here. Sure. I'm going to roll right in the shooting phase. I'm going to actually start out with a little something different here. I'm going to snap fire a single shot going that mm -hmm. way. Uh, I'm looking for a six to hit. Okay. You guys knew that was coming. Um, now I'm looking for, it looks like still front armor. I can see the mm -hmm. side, but I don't think I'm steep enough. So it looks like front armor. Uh, that is a glance, so that is a whole point. Okay, but I did pop smoke. Oh, yes, you did, sir. And it opened. Oh, oh hey. Oh, and go. it came through. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I am actually going to do... Um, Huh, I'm in a tough decision. Do I two uh, last cannons, one's out of snap firing, or take a shot? You know what? I am going to shoot my last cannons and stuff here. So this is the snap firing one. Uh, Reroll, twin linked. And the normal one, twin linked. That's a hit. Front armor. That is a pin. Okay. Ooh, gets through. AP2. Five goes through six. It is a mobilized. All right. So we'll put that on a what? Well, it's already got six. But yeah, we'll keep track of it. And then um, I'm just going to keep going with that guy. I am going to shoot my flame template the, uh, at the come here there. I'm going to sling that dice to you, Robbie B. Uh, good nothing. I did not want to blow my hillforge on just some vehicleness. I want to wait till some of those veterans pile out of there. So um, that was my quick shooting phase. Um, what I'm really excited about is I finally get a chance to dig into a little guard tank here. So mutilators are going to be on deck. 
Mutilator time. Here we go, guys. So I just looked in the codex to find out. Um, I thought they had two options that would put them at the strength eight mark nope. because they are not base strength five. They're only strength base strength four. I thought they had chain fist and power fist. Come to find out they do not. Everybody would automatically think, oh, just use your chain fist, right? Come to find out that's not what I want to do, guys. I want to use something that will just get the job done here because I need to save my super high strength low AP for this stuff over here. And you can't morph the same weapon twice. Cannot same, do the or same weapon row. twice. Yes, correct. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do is, this is Chansey, but I'm going to use a power maul. This is the So I want to know two first times are happening right now, Robbie B. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> You're first, assaulting with mutilators. First off, assaults are happening with mutilators. Right. First time in the Beach Laboratory and pretty much across the world except Adepticon. Yep. And second thing, I am assaulting with mutilators and opting to use their power maul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need threes to hit at this point in time. Yep. Uh, that was pretty solid. I need two. Uh, that's two misses. Now I am strength six with a maul, rear armor eleven, not ten like those BS other vehicles. This is I got something going for me. That's right. So I need two. He's already taken one whole point. I need two fives or sixes, uh, so I can uh, whole point or penetrate this guy out. <laughs> Guys, you want to talk about skinning by the bear of my yep. teeth? I just barely did that nice. with two long wars. Now, oh. there is no way that I can blow this thing up because mm -hmm. of my AP and everything else. So that is just, just two penetratings and two whole points out. Yep. Wreckage. So that was my four. Again, guys, I'm feeling really solid out of every turn. Um, it doesn't, might not look like a lot of things are happening, but this is a very technical game. Uh, and we are making all the right moves, and Robbie B has been countering, so it's been good back and forth. Um, Got to remember his table quarters at the end, and kill points are real tight neck and neck. I don't know right exactly where we are, but I know it's close. Top of my turn four. Ooh, I get my Storm Raven on. Woo -woo. Can't fail that roll. Yeah, <laughs> give me that all day. So I was checking the rule book actually because, you know, with all these new psychic powers and it, it you know, you got to double, triple check everything. So I was like, well, okay, what can I actually move this with the power I want? And it turns out, if you check the rule book on page 76, um, a wrecked vehicle counts as a piece of terrain with the difficult terrain type and it actually is no longer dangerous even added in there. So that's really interesting to see. So not only can I, I still run through it in charge, I could also theoretically teleport it out of the way using uh, the shifting worldscape. So that may come into play, it may not, but um, obviously I need to get over there and deal with those mutilators while they're out and pick up a kill point, hopefully an easy kill point. Over here, I just need to get my Storm Raven on and start dealing with some Helldrakes, I feel like, but um, I've only got two turns to do it, so I gotta watch my angles. All right, so the Storm Raven came on. He's going to try to take down that uh, that Hell Drake over there. Finally, make his uh, make his money there. And uh, we've got um, this Chimera and that Chimera up there. This Immobilized can still shoot, so we'll start out with that. So first Chimera shooting up, snap fire. Jigging. Oh, misses. Second one, one hit, and. Uh, one. Of course, that's what we roll after six, right? <laughs> uh, good times. I am within 24 for the multi meltas so we'll roll the white one is the multi meltas the black one is the last cannon. So here's those. And fortunately, they're both twin-linked. So we got one hit with the multi melta and it's just it's going to be the strain on strength eight. So strength eight plus, well, that's a 14, though. Um, so I am jinking, so this yep. is a four up. Uh, a one is not gonna do it. Nope. So this is gonna be plus the two to the result. So it's gonna be a four, which is, I believe, uh, what, stunned? Stunned. Oh, so that may uh, have further effects here in a second too. We'll double check it. So I got all my psychics up here. I'm just gonna pile in, barrel in to this assault right here. So remember, this is just difficult ground, so I just said, eh, F it. We're gonna charge in here. So we need at least, what, like a four, I feel like, or a three, probably a three. Let's see here. Well, it's two inches, and you're just a one, so it's a four inch charge, my brother. Okay, so here goes the charge distance. Six is Maybe gonna six. do it. So drag him. I'm gonna drag them all up four here. Should be good enough to get Drago in at least at his initiative step, which is way. Oh high. yeah. So we'll just uh, do that. And you got some dangerous. Uh, this is not dangerous. No, Excuse no, me. It's not, not anymore. Just difficult. Strength five hammer wrath with a base strength. 
nothing happens there. So now we're going on to initiative. So Drago is gonna move his three inches up, which I don't feel like is gonna be a problem. Um, and yep, he will definitely be in there. I'm not gonna actually move him because I'll probably fall off the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna swing with him real quick. All right, so we're just rolling in with our five attacks here. I am preferred enemy demons, but that's not gonna come into play right yet because I'm prescient. Um, so prescient doesn't matter. And then these are swinging at strength nine. And this is my preferred enemy demons. Oh yeah. Four invulnerables. Hmm. Four saves, huh? Yep. This is uh, instant death, force, strength nine. So uh, I'm just gonna do this a little dramatic. I'm gonna go ahead and call a five. No, nope. call, that's one dead. That's one down. There's a long war. Uh-oh. And one. another long war. One left, one dice left. Ah! Dead mutilators. Oh, poor little guys. Not gonna lie, I saw that coming. That's why Karn decided to stay in the vehicle. Yeah, that was a, that was a good choice on uh, <laughs> not kill main Berman there. <laughs> Man, all right, so I rolled a six to consolidate and spread out some, but I think you can still get away, no problems, between a tank shock and just a random open space in general. And uh, Storm Raven there, just staring down at the, the epic, epic stare down right there, and going into turn five. I'm gonna go straight up Rain of Fire on turn five. Uh, let's see if we can haul ass, and I'm calling a vector strike. Blow this storm raven up. Let's do it. My juice is figuring out his angles over there. I forgot to mention uh, when I stunned him, I got all excited, but then I remembered he ignores all that, so he is gonna probably get the fire. Also, just gonna go ahead and get my my man's is out. Coming out the booth. Yep. Coming out my my my. Marker got moved here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you had the escape hatch over there yep. from the bunker. All the cultists in the bunker. Okay. And uh, I'll go ahead and give you a difficult train and a run roll there. That Let's is a six plus a run of one billion inches. I like it. Okay, so we've got uh, the the Corn Hell Drake, aka code name Rain of Fire, or Gun of Vector Strike. This uh, Lone oh, Storm librarian. Shield uh, Librarian. That is a good nothing. Ooh. And then now, my Victor Strike on the Storm Raven. Mm -hmm. So that's not just one, that is a D3. So here's my D3, which is one. <laughs> it's just quality, we're gonna make them count. I can jink this, right? Uh, you can, but it ignores cover. So I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so, see what happens? Another one. So my plan is going exactly how I thought it would. <laughs> So I was hoping the Victor Strike would still do more, but so we've got a last cannon. Um, this guy stayed stationary, none of this all can see, but I have a last cannon shooting down the line there. Oh no. Um, twin linked, and anything but. Robbie B. Mm, need that three up. Stuck it. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll right into, he, uh, this guy hauled ass. Uh, his 12 inches, so he's just gonna snap our two last cannons up top there. Okay. So, need sixes, and I get to twin link. Um, this is a patented Horton rolling technique here. Yeah, there you go. And I did pick up Ooh, one. Okay. Uh, strength nine does nothing. That's an 11, and so not as optimal of a shooting a phase as I wanted. <laughs> And I can't flame template these because these guys are still invisible. So it looks like that is my turn five, gentlemen. All right, so we're kind of taking a look at what's what's died so far, where we're at on everything. And I feel like I got a good battle plan here. I need to get knocked down a couple of kill points this turn in order to uh, maybe stay on top or win the game, depending on how, how long these turns go. Or how long the game goes. So I'm gonna basically try once again to take down this land raider. I'm also gonna try to zot any combination of Heldrake I can and uh, just hold on to my librarian over there because he's crucial to my uh, holding table quarters and staying tied at the very least objectives. Shooting phase time here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, target priority uh, tomfoolery. So I know right here that I'm definitely in range, right? So what I'm thinking is I shoot this first 
And then that way, these little multi-lasers can, tar can target downrange here and maybe get lucky and this squishy rear 10 armor on this Heldrake. So we're gonna roll this guy first. Drinking. Uh, <laughs> drinking! Uh, so twin-linked Melta will be the white dice and the last cannon will be the black one. Ugh, I feel like this has happened before. <laughs> Well, we turned it into two hits, two solid hits here. So penetrating on this, definitely in that sweet spot right there. So we're gonna roll all this together. So go ahead and do that, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go down like that. Oh, uh, that is true. Okay, so, so here we go. That, that two pin. as you called it. <laughs> yep. So here is for the multi melter, which is AP2. A uh, good, good, and last cannon, which is, uh, excuse me, multi melter's uh, AP1, last cannon's AP2, and I jink them both. So we're gonna option select a little bit and shoot downrange with the multi-lasers because the squishy 10 armor is way better than the 12 in the front. And we got one so I far. Am, by the way, Jenkins, no, mm -hmm. no, no point in dying right now. Nope. Uh, so we need at least a four here. Nope. And then right here, rolling the hit and no scot fire, no hits in the air. So now we're gonna, we don't have any more shots. I think we're just gonna try to assault in and maybe burn down that land raider. Assault moves. Big seven, I'm okay with that, because we cleared the terrain here. So we're gonna get a lot of people in. More importantly, Drago's gonna be within 10 inches, notwithstanding the fact that he gets within two inches of somebody else that's already engaged. But that's my that's my ace in the hole right there, Keldor Drago. All right, and swing him with his five attacks. We are hammer hands, so we are strength nine, but we gotta hit first. And we are prescienced. Now we are strength nine. Need those fives. Oh, uh, there's a long war. So that's a penetrating hit, at least. Um, we are AP two, so it's gonna be plus one. Ah, uh, just immobilized. I mean, I guess I can't really complain about immobilization. I mean, I, yeah, I didn't blow it up, but now he can't get away, and I can uh, swing on him again for yeah, freezes. Yeah, if, if it goes to turn six, you're mm -hmm. definitely going to get a chance to, um, for free, do it. Uh, so, Robbie B., this is the end of five. Uh-oh, time to roll. Will you, will you give us the chance to see if it uh, goes to six or if it stops right here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Game over. Game blouses. So, uh... Well, everybody, mm -hmm. if you didn't already know, this video ends for you here unless you are on, unless you're a veteran. So stop what you're doing, head over to thelongwar.net and become a veteran of the long war today. It's like 20 cents a day. You literally can't do anything else with hobby cheaper. <laughs> Good night, everybody. If you like these battle reports, check out thelongwar.net. Become a member of the Hall of Veterans today for the fastest growing library of war game related video content. Modeling, painting, and playing. Not to mention all the sick discounts I receive from some of our sponsors. TheLongWord.net is committed to bringing hobby back. And we can't do it without you.